Yeah. This ain't, it's not really that big of a deal for a video, but I'm going to do it anyways, just in case you guys want to clean every single thing you got for your NES system, including the RF adapter, which, you know, it's pretty simple if you got the tools and you do it the right way, so, but yeah, I need to get a different These don't usually take that long to fix up. I've already cleaned one of these. Uh, not the one that I had for my system, but the one I got from the Goodwill. So I'm going to clean this one, which I haven't cleaned yet. Just to give you guys exactly the, the whole deal. See, I'm pointing right there, but anyways, take that off, and then you got your your wire going to your NES right here, and then let me plug into the TV right there, and you got your cable sitting right there. I don't know if you guys haven't ever checked out what the inside of it looked like. That's what it looks like, so. Probably not really interesting, but oh well. Just throw it in there. But pretty much all you gotta do is just clean up this, these two pieces, and then we'll clean up the wire. This ain't gonna take long at all, so. Alright. We're just gonna clean these two pieces right there. They're kind of, they're kind of sticky a little bit, so. <laughs> Some people might be saying they're crazy. It's just an RF adapter, but yeah. I don't know. I just. It's like having everything clean, you know. But. Yep. I don't know. I'm gonna let you guys decide. Is there a bit. Uh, an, a game or a system or something you want me to try and take apart and clean or something so you can see if I can do it or not. If you want me to, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll try and do that. I know I have yet to take apart a Sega Dreamcast. I've already taken apart a Sega Saturn, but I haven't put it up on the video yet, I don't think. But I'll do that sometime soon. dry right there pretty good and then that's pretty good right there so we got this bad boy clean now so uh, if, you, if you're confused on where you put how you put it back in there it has like a slot right here and that's where the uh, cable connector goes, fits right in there. So, if 
fits like that. And then it goes right in there, that goes there. Oh, anyway. And then that fits like that. And then you just these aren't that bad, so I don't have to brush them off, but put your screws back in. the fun part where we actually clean the wire so all right guys oh you ain't gonna be able to see the top of my head but you're gonna be focusing on this anyways so yeah let's put this over here I mean usually gonna use a hand towel something like this just uh yeah Right on one side. And this is how I usually do it. I'm going to do the uh, short one right here first. Just to get it out of the way. Just do that. Go back down. I usually just take that one for that side, but. Just do that. And then when it comes to this one, just very carefully do that. As long as you don't have a damn snag or not. And just clean that. Tip off the best you can a little bit. Turn it around on the plain side. Go back down. And that should be good. And then I just flip over to your dry side. Just pretty much do the same thing. All down. Part off, flip it around, something pretty simple, but you know, just for those that don't know, throw it up on there, and then that's pretty much, pretty much it. So, and then just wrap it around here. <laughs> Either wrap it around like this or hook it up to your NES and then you're good to go. So, thanks for watching and I'll check you guys out in my next video.